Stress burn suggested that the motivative and hygiene factors theory, also known as the two-factor theory of job satisfaction. As claimed by his theory, people are influenced by two sets of factors. The idea is that hygiene factors will not motivate, but they or if, but if they do, they can lower the motivation risk. The two factors are called hygiene factors, which are dissatisfiers, and motivation factors, which are satisfiers, who suggested that both hygiene factors and motivators need to present in order for the employees to feel motivated. Hygiene factors, which include salary, job, security, working conditions, status, company procedures, quality of technology supervision, and quality of interpersonal relations. Among peers and the superior ones and the subordinates. And employees reach a point where they are not dissatisfied with their job. This condition is not connected to motivators. Motivation and motivators include achievement, recognition, responsibility, advancement, the work itself, and the possibility for growth. These factors are connected to the job itself and the task. They contribute satisfaction. He suggested that motivative and hygiene factors can be applied to understanding factory workers in most cultures and countries. People all around the world in different workplaces supported the application of his two theories across diverse countries. His research led to the conclusion that the two are needed to correct the job to interpret satisfaction. Many managers feel very comfortable about many things Harrisburg included in his two theory discussion. In 2009, a compact group of Americans and intellectuals started discussion about forming a worldwide community focused on the topic of organizational design. The group discussed how firms increase face competition pressures related to rapid and continuous adaption to a complex, highly interconnected government environment. And in response, how firms were experimenting with a variety of new organizational forms that were considerable, different from exp examining the form. The community would seek to experiment and research and learning about this organizational design and redesigned it by creating multi-party collaborations whom primarily was to advance knowledge and and practice in this area. So relating to organizational and design and Harrisburg theories was perfect together. Here are seven reasons why. The job design is that the workers are motivated to do better when they have satisfactions in their jobs. Researchers suggest that the jobs are interesting and motivating and meaningful, often supply employees with a high level of satisfaction, which translates into a productive workforce that meets business goals. On the other hand, aiming list design jobs, the lack of attention that the workers get can be nothing in involving group organizations. The theory provided awareness that job designs can impact employee satisfaction and motivation and laid the ground of job characteristics theory and became the basics for job enrichment. Herzberg theory is evident through support. This factor has several weaknesses to it too. There are no entanglement measures for the hygiene and motivational factors. Workers may have a satisfaction because their hygiene needs are being met, but they're still or not motivating at the work.
So for positive results, you have to use his theory to intertwine. It has been criticized and not scientifically sound that the study made assumptions that all employees wanted the same outcome. It was invalid by most organizational scholars. Concentrating on the importance of an internal job as motivating forces for employees. He designed to increase job enrichment for employees. Harrisburg wanted to create the, the opportunity for employees to take time planning, performing, and evaluating their work. So to fit that with organizational design, it keeps everything together and controlled. His theory has been highly influenced around workforces and all around the world, and it is still used by managers today.